What's up with it Raider Nation? It's your boy Raider Honcho and I'm back with a brand new video for you. Alright guys, let's get right into it, man. You already know the vibes. You already know what type of time I'm on. It's Friday, so you already know we about to get it cracking. We about to be into another game. Alright, we're 3-1, and, and we got the Bears coming into town, coming into Vegas, and we got to handle business. But before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. Both are at Raider Honcho. And uh, check out RaiderHoncho.com and get some of this drip, man. You already know the vibes. So, when you talk about the Raiders... Playing the Bears. This is a monumental game for me. And I know some of y'all be like, yo, Hancho stay tripping. Hancho stay with the gas. He always capping. I don't give a damn. This is a huge game for, uh, for the Raiders. In my opinion, this is a must-win game. This is a monumental game to, to determine whether or not we're for real or we're not. Are we contenders or are we pretenders, okay? Like, because to me, I've always stated, good teams do not lose back-to-back -back games. Good teams do not lose two in a row because you make the adjustments and you find a way to get a victory, okay? You find a way to play better. Coming off the game with the Chargers, we played like dog shit. We stunk it up. We didn't even show up to about the damn uh, third quarter. So, in my opinion, the Raiders will not beat the Bears, even the Bears. The Raiders will not beat the Bears if we don't come to play from the opening snap to the last snap, okay? From the opening quarter to the last quarter. From the opening play to the last play. We are going to have to play a full game, guys. We got to play a full game. We got to stop starting so slow on offense. I blame Derek Carr. I blame John Gruden for that as well. We have to find a way to get out early. Get ahead, score early and often, and let our defense play that bend but don't break style of defense that protects leads. We have a defense that will protect the lead. We don't have the type of defense that's going to go out there and, and necessarily be able to hold teams to 10 points, 14 points like that. We're going to be giving up 17 to 25 points a game, okay? Like, that's just what it is, okay? You look at most of our games, we've been giving up that type of that type of points, uh, overtime games. We have the type of defense that if you get up by 14, if you get up by 16, we can hold the team from scoring because it takes a lot of plays to score on our defense, okay? We're bend but don't break. We'll give up some big plays, but we won't traditionally give up big touchdowns. So if you get out to a lead, this is the type of defense that'll win the game for you. Um, offensive line is shuffling around. We got some pieces moving around. We got people moving inside, people moving outside, people coming up off the damn bench. I don't really care what it takes. I don't care what the names are. We just got to get it done. We got to find the best group of players to go out there that protect Derek Carr and protect these running backs because without a running game, the Raiders are super one-dimensional, and John Gruden doesn't like that. John Gruden doesn't want Derek Carr to drop back 45 to 50 times a game, uh, especially when you think about the offensive line being bad because you're just opening Derek Carr up to getting hurt. Uh, but when it comes to this game against the Bears, I don't think the Bears have enough on offense to really scare me. But at the end of the day, if we don't get out of our own way on offense, if we don't find a way to start fast, if we don't find a way to just get into a rhythm early in the game, every single team can beat us. Every single team on our schedule can beat us if the Raiders themselves don't come out and play winning football. Like, it, we can't use two quarters to compile data just to go into halftime and then try to make comebacks. It's too stressful, it's too much pressure, and we just don't have the type of team to do that. Um, so I believe we gotta start fast, we gotta start early, get out to an early league, get some points on the board and then allow our defense to play more comfortable and stop feeling like every play has to be like a throw or every series has to be three and out three and out three and out because that's just not realistic for the type of defense Gus Bradley likes to play you've noticed we played a lot of cover three we have played some cover one um but Traditionally, we're going to play a lot of cover three, which means we're going to give up stuff underneath. we got to uh, rally to the ball, make tackles. That's not the type of defense that's going to go out there and you say, if your offense only scores 10 points, we can still get you a win. It's not going to work like that for us. we got to be scoring three, four touchdowns a game and add on two to three field goals to that. We have to be a high-scoring offense, high-flying offense, the greatest show on turf part two, whatever you want to call it. But the Raiders have to score points. We have a lot of weapons on that on that, uh, on that that offense. We have, we have a, a plethora of weapons in the arsenal. We have to find a way to tap in and get the most out of that potential. There's no way you can't tell me Ruggs could even be doing more. There's no way you can tell me that 
Edwards can't be doing more. Renfro, Waller, Kenyon, Drake. What did you bring him in here for if you're not going to give him the damn ball? You didn't bring him in here to block no damn body, I tell you that much. Um, so we need to figure it out. I think this is a must-win game for the Raiders. You can't lose two in a row, especially to the teams you're supposed to beat. We're supposed to beat the Bears, and we got to go beat the Bears. If we do not win this game, this team is not a playoff team. I don't care how it looks. I don't care who we got. If we can't find a way to beat the Bears at home, we're not a playoff team. If we can't find a way to stop the bleeding and not lose two in a row, we are not a playoff team. So to me, this has huge playoff implications to me in the West that's going to be fully loaded. When the Chiefs are the worst team in the division, you got to look out, right? So this is a must-win game. I want you to get down in the comments and let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think this is a must-win game or is the Hancho tripping? Is the Hancho capping this early in the morning? Uh, I don't know. Get down in the comments. Let me know. If you like the video, damn, like the video. If you like the content on this channel, subscribe to the channel. Hit me up on Instagram and Twitter, both at Raider Hancho. Until the next time, you should know the vibes. Raider Hancho out.